All right, guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. And uh, today we're con continuing our uh, not show footage uh, here at the at the range, uh, having a little bit of fun with a new gun from Hatson. Uh, this is the Flash. It is a rotary magazine, 12 shot repeater, basically a little bolt action, it's 22 caliber. It has a integral moderator, which is very, very quiet. We actually did some metering with this uh, particular air rifle getting 116 decibels at the ear and 112 at the muzzle so very very quiet um it is a pcp it is considered an entry-level pcp so uh not a terribly expensive unit uh at all um this is something that is definitely new for this year these things will be going out uh we did some velocity testing and grouping with it uh velocity we're getting 799 feet per second out of a 19 grain pellet and that's the h and n barracuda hunter extreme all right, and at 50 yards, Tab was getting one inch groups with this gun. So uh, just kind of quickly, the main things about it that I like, that I think are really cool. One, the trigger's great. It breaks at three pounds. Nice and clean trigger, which is wonderful. Um, it is a very simple and entry level gun, but yet very robust. I do like that it's very quiet. It's very accurate and it is very reliable. So those are a couple of things in my initial observations of this that I think are really cool. Uh, it's topped off with the Optima uh, three to nine by 40 with an adjustable objective. Uh, this is Hotson's uh, house brand. So it's got their little house brand optic on it. Kind of a cheap entry level optic, but definitely seems to be working fine. Uh, we're gonna take a few shots. So it is a bolt action, basically like a sort of facsimile of a bolt action repeater. It uses a uh, little rotary type magazine here. We're just gonna pop that in and that's it. Take a few shots. We've got uh, some cameras out 50 yards there. Just gonna shoot a variety of things. And then uh, we'll move back and shoot some things with a little bit more fleshy consistency. And guys, this is just kind of a first look. Um, the power level that this gun is making is a little low. I think from what I've been told, uh, they're saying that the production models are supposed to have a little bit more power uh, than what this one's making. But still, let's check it out. Always fun to play with. And I would say accuracy-wise, this thing is on, on par with just about any nice 22 rifle. Not making the, the power that a 22 makes, but definitely quiet, easy to shoot. I'm aiming at a pretty small target down there, just the head on that little uh, bowling pin right there. Not too shabby. All right. And I'm missing just off the right side of that thing, like a dummy. Let me hold over a little bit more. Got a little bit of wind. I don't know if that would really matter much at 50, but maybe. Yeah, let me hold for wind here. Yep, I saw that pellet drift over. Let's see, let me hold a little bit more. Yep, right off the right edge, and that is definitely the wind. You know, and that's an interesting point about air rifles in general, especially like these little bitty pellets. They're not moving at quite velocities of a 22 long rifle. You know, even a little bit of wind at even just moderate distances can still drift that pellet over. So these are a great tool to, to teach somebody about wind drift as well. If they don't have access to some stupid long range where the wind is starting to blow a 308 pill out of a you know 308 bolt action, over some stupid distance from a long range, you don't have the capabilities to shoot that far. Something like this, can, can you can definitely just see that pellet drift right over in the wind. We got a little bit of a wind blowing. So let me just hold a little bit more. That's kind of cool. That's an interesting observation, in my opinion. Huh. 
All right, so mag out. And the way these mags load is pretty simple. All right, I'm gonna shoot a couple more. And guys, I know this is might be somewhat redundant, but we're gonna just go ahead and shoot a few more at 50, and then we'll shoot a couple of silly things up close just to have a little bit of fun with the gun. I can see this being a really handy, lightweight, you know, plinker to take out, or maybe a squirrel rifle, some people that are wanting some kind of, you know, lightweight rifle to take out and hunt squirrels with. It would definitely excel at that. Uh, the gun is definitely lightweight. Uh, that's one thing that I do like about it. All right. All right, I'm gonna pick up the pace here. Be a dead squirrel right in the face there. Not too bad. Hmm. Oh, wow, that wind is really drifting it. Oh, okay. Very consistent accuracy out of this thing once you, you know, know where to aim, find your hold. I mean, that right there, those last five shots or so that I, I drifted onto the edge of that gong right there, about an inch. So the results that I'm getting are consistent with Chad's grouping data that he got from the other day. So if you do your part, this thing will definitely uh, sail them right in there. Very accurate. I think that's kind of the name of the game with this kind of stuff really is accuracy a lot of folks uh you know tend to be looking for a gun that's not terribly expensive it's accurate and uh pcp is definitely a nice thing you know this thing's pretty easy to fill with the fill tank not really a big deal there you get quite a few shots which is nice um let's reset and uh we'll we'll take out some things of some slightly uh fleshy consistency here let's do it all right, guys, we can't make a video about an air rifle without shooting some crazy objects. So we got some sidewalk chalk. Uh, this stuff tends to come apart really uh, nice with a little pellet. So let's have a go. Let's have a little fun here. All right. Barracuda, Barracuda. That's what I said there. Barracuda Hunter Extreme. 19 grains. Oh, people are going to give me heck about that forever that's okay all right let's try to shoot the tip off just the tip how about that Do it. right over the top eric <laughs> oh, good grief. <laughs> All right. Finish these off, and then we're going to find something else fun to do. Right over the top. Well then, bye. <laughs> All right, got one little tiny remnant there. All right, one even tinier remnant. 
Look at that. Oh, last round. There we go. All right. Let's come up with some other fun things to do. All right, so moving on, we've got some guavas, strawberries, and grapes. Not necessarily in that order, but there they are. We're going to take a few shots here with the uh, flash. Have a little fun. Little gun is real accurate. All right, I'm just going to work my way down the row. Down skid row. <laughs> hey, Bobby, what happened? Well, his head just exploded. Dude, those grapes come apart. Little guava action. Little grapes. Dude, those grapes explode. <laughs> that is great. That strawberry laying on its back. Nope. Denied. No, you come here. Denied. <laughs> oh, you can go behind there. Okay. Like that. <laughs> that is so much fun. Guys, grapes is where it's at. If you if you're gonna if you're gonna run an air rifle, that is that is a fun little target is some grapes. Alright. Tell you what, let's let's change this up a little bit, have a little fun. Try it kind of somewhat offhand here. Oh now 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 that's hard. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh no, just to the right. <laughs> One more grape. Bam! Got it. All right, that is a lot of fun. I have to say, I am genuinely impressed. I know that air rifles are kind of one of those things that, you know, not everybody necessarily digs, but I, I feel it's important to represent them on the channel because I know some of you are air gun aficionados and uh, we felt that it was important to showcase something like this. Uh, this is not intended to be a review or anything like that. It's just intended to be kind of a, a first look, so to speak. Uh, this is a very new, uh, air rifle that you'll probably just now start seeing, uh, you know, showing up in places and everything. Uh, definitely want to thank Hat Sun for bringing this uh, particular uh, air rifle down for us to check out. This is very new. And guys, in case you can't tell, you know, we don't really go to SHOT Show anymore. Uh, we tend to, when it comes to a lot of the new stuff coming out that gets released in conjunction with, some, uh, with a trade show such as SHOT Show, uh, we try to do our best to get our hands on that stuff kind of early and put out kind of a proper video, sort of outside of all the glitz and the glam and all the, the crap on the floor that goes on. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a good show, uh, but we try to just show things off in a more personal setting. So there's the flash. Check it out if you want. And uh, guys, stay tuned. We've got a lot more videos on the way. Hopefully we've been doing our part and getting lots of content out for you guys. We hope you're enjoying it. Thank you much for the support. We'll see you next time.